In this video I'm going to show you how to use adjustment layers um, and just give you a, a quick idea of the things you can do with them. Um, the reason why adjustment layers are good is because you can make corrections and alterations to your image um, without actually damaging your original file um, and then you can turn off or on the adjustment layers um, accordingly. So it's a really good way of working with images um, without sort of messing around with your original file. So here I've got a, a render I've been working on um, of a gym and uh, what we'll do is I'll just show you a couple of um, a couple of the simple adjustment layers. Um, so in order to create an adjustment layer you go over to this little uh, black and white icon down here in your layer palette. And when you click on that that gives you uh, the options, some of the options for um, your layer mask. So we'll start off with a nice and simple one, just do a brightness and contrast. As you can see over here on the layer palette, it's created the mask and um, the adjustment layer, and then we can make the adjustments over here. So I'm just going to make some quite extreme changes so then you can really see how this works. And when I turn them on and off, you'll be able to get a better idea. So I've just made those changes, click OK, and there's our mask. Nice and simple, and if I just turn it off, you can kind of see it's a bit dim, and then when I turn it back on, it's brightened up. Um, and it's just a little bit, got a little bit more contrast going on. Another adjustment layer that can be quite useful is the hue and saturation. So if we just click on the adjustment layer again and select hue, saturation, I'll show you how this can be quite handy. Um, so if the client called me up and said that although they like how this image is coming along, they've decided that they're not going to use this green anymore and perhaps you know, want to have a look at some other colour options, what you could do is you take your colour picker and click on the sort of colour area that you're wanting to change and drag your hue and saturation hue slider to different factors. You can see the changes that it's making. So all of a sudden, without having to re-render the entire drawing, you've made some quick changes just to get an idea of how the colours would look. Um, so it's a really nice, quick, easy way to make some adjustments um, and what you can do because this is a mask let's just uh, let's say okay to that and um, because this is a mask you can see like there might be some elements that you didn't actually want that to affect so we can click on the mask here and we can select our brush tool uh, and let's say you know the door is looking a little orange so we just you can literally just color that Take that colour away. So the adjustment layer isn't affecting that particular part of the drawing. Or let's say, you know, for example, this pillar you wanted to keep green, you can just paint that adjustment layer away from that part of the drawing quite easily. You can use your marquee tool and do it in much more detail, um, but just to give you an idea, that's how, how you can play around with that. I'm just going to turn that off for a second. So it's really effective and quick way of changing your colours in your drawing without without having to re-render things. Um, so another one you can do, which could be handy, is your black and white. Now the reason why this one's really useful is if you change that background into black and white, you can't get that back again. Whereas with this, we can change this into black and white, but easily turn it on and off. You know, should we require. Now if we wanted to perhaps say on these bags, just keep those coloured stripes in, what we can do is just switch this off for a sec. We can take our one tool and just select those little areas, just zoom in a touch. Okay, selected those areas and now I'm just going to click back on the mask. Turn the mask back on just so we can see what's going on. Select my brush tool and just paint out the areas that we're wanting to keep. And you can see now that they've stayed green. So again, that's just a way to show how you can be really selective how you want your adjustment layer to affect your drawing. It doesn't have to be put onto the whole drawing, but you can select areas that you want your adjustment layer to be working with. Okay, and finally, if we look at adding 
something else into the drawing so we're not just working on one aspect of the drawing, not just the background. So I've just added this guy into the drawing here. Obviously, if this was something we were going to be spending a bit more time on, we could definitely make him bed him in a bit more to the drawing. But just for this case, um, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can add an adjustment there specifically to this little aspect of the drawing. So what you can do is you can select him and by doing that on the Mac you press Command and click on the layer and you'll get a marquee around that layer. And then from that you can click on your adjustment layer and let's say we want to amend his brightness and contrast again. We can make some drastic changes just so that you can see the difference here bring that down a bit and let's just make it at a high contrast. Okay, so you can see that these changes are only affecting this aspect of the drawing. Oh, happy chap here. Um, so if I turn that off, you can see the difference. But that hasn't affected anything else in the drawing, um, which can also be quite useful. So that's just a very brief introduction to adjustment layers.